Let's take a look at the answers to your 1-7 assignment. First off, don't forget question number one. If you don't do question number one, I can't give you credit for anything else on the assignment. On question number two, we want to com uh, compare and contrast domain and range. Domain are all the x values, are your inputs. Range are your y values, are your outputs. Is what you need for those. Now a strategy to help you remember those on question number two from the seminar, remember domain X and range E from your seminar. Now on question four, we want to compare and contrast open and closed endpoints. Your open endpoints are exclusive. That is, they don't include the endpoint. Exclusive. Include the endpoint. Whereas your closed endpoint is inclusive. It means that you are going to include the endpoint. And question five, what does it mean for a function to be continuous? A continuous functions, your domain and range are in intervals. They're not specific values. You're going to write the domain and range with uh, inequalities. Like, for example, my domain would go from negative 3 to positive 2. Forgot my X there. Where just the opposite is for a discrete function, your domain in range are going to be specific values. An example would be your domain would be the set like 1, 2, 3, and 4. Only those values. No other values, nothing in between those values or anything like that. 